eyes are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Drone B Daily number four. Today, I want to talk about RVRs. And uh, RVRs is my favorite favorite thing to this game, in part because it's, it's really, it's a chance to uh, come together as a realm and, you know, do something awesome and take out other realms. That's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, so, so I talk a little bit about um, how to win RVR. Uh, one thing I will say, guys, is the RVR points, the rewards really aren't that great. Like, you might get, get uh, if you're lucky, you might get 30 or 40 March speed ups, maybe, maybe 50, but other than that, the prizes really aren't very great. And almost certainly, if you're buying RVR ports, it's just for fun, right? It's just for pride. You're not going to get a good return on the pack survive. It's just purely for entertainment. So um, something to keep in mind guys. I mean it is it's cool when you know you're you're going in and having fun with your buddies on and the cool thing too is there's like no repercussions from it. Like if you're attacking people in your realm, you gotta live with that, right? Like they're gonna hate you for a while probably and <laughs> but in another realm you don't have to deal with them ever again so yeah so I let off with a video of me taking the crystal there and I talked about a little bit in my last video the only reason I was able to well two two reasons one is how the uh, win-loss is calculated it's based on troop loss and uh, whoever loses more troops loses the battle and because I sent frost guardians and they had t3 troops the t3 died really easy Frost Guardians that I sent, really tough to kill. So so I ended up, you know, winning, even though I had a uh, sixth as many troops. And even the troops I had were weaker than than the troops that were in the crystal. Like there were more warriors and more more good stuff in the crystal than I sent with a better hero. But but that T3 is what did it and the, you know my Frost Guardians. Um, I don't recommend sending Frost Guardians. Uh, it's kind of a waste, but uh, I wanted to make a uh, uh, send a message to the other guy in the realm. He was, uh, or at least people in his guild were just talking mad trash, like, "Oh, we've got the next uh, Titan champion." It's a, a newer realm, so he probably could be the Titan champion in this group of realms. But um, I just wanted to uh, send a message. Hey, oh yeah, you're gonna be the Titan champion. <laughs> Um, so guys, there's two two main components to RVR. Uh, there's defense and then offensive tactics. And uh, for offense, you're going to need to buy RVR ports, and they are expensive. It's uh, typically it's four for a hundred dollar, you know, for a pack. So, and each teleport, you um, you get one hour in the other realm. So. Uh, so most people probably won't be won't be doing that. Maybe someday you'll try it, but right, like that's pretty expensive a pack for really not getting much other than pride, right? Like it's just like a you know just for the glory of the realm. So uh, for defense guys, the way the RVR points work 
is you get one point for every power destroyed in your realm uh, of the enemy, but they get five for every point they destroy. So what that means is you pretty much want to avoid the um, invaders from the other realm, the aliens. You want to avoid them as much as possible, unless you can deal five times more damage to them, which, you know, that's pretty tough, right? Like, maybe if you get a full rally together and you're attacking with Frost Guardians, you can do it, but uh, typically they're going to do at least a fifth. <laughs> so, so I would recommend not attacking the invaders, uh, again, unless you think you can actually get five times damage or prevent them from attacking other people. Uh, so I avoid invaders. The best bet is just get everybody to bubble in the realm. Uh, a lot of realms, they do a thing called, well, at least I've heard it called a purge, where they zero as many people as they can um, like in that realm. So the big guys in the realm will go out and just start taking out all the little guys. And I, I don't like this, personally. Like, you know, for me, the RVR is it's about coming together, right? It's about, like, like combining, you know, unifying as a realm to take out the bad guys. And when you go around and kill all the little guys, I don't know, it just feels wrong. It just, I don't like it. But, but if you really want to win the RVR, um, that is a, a decent way to do it. Uh, I still don't recommend it, though. I think I think you can do it. You can win without it. And the key key here is to just make sure everybody's on board, get everybody to bubble, and um, yeah. So that that's how I would do it. Um, so that's one one defensive thing. You can get an attack group together, like get all the strong guys in the realm that aren't at the crystal, and that aren't teleporting to the other realm. Uh, you could do rallies on these guys and chase them around, but again, you got to do a lot more damage than uh, you know <laughs> than he's dealing back to you guys. So it's something to think about. Best bet's just to avoid the invaders, bubble, don't attack them, just let them do their thing, and um, yeah, yeah. Now, if you want, if you see the invaders going in to attack somebody, that is a case for. Uh, trying to zero that person that the invaders trying to attack first so uh, you know that's sort of like a purge except for this person's gonna be zeroed anyway what difference does it make who in this point so um, but I wouldn't do it at first just just because that's me but uh, you know do as you will right that's kind of the dark arts too if you're zeroing your whole realm before the RVRs um, other defensive things guys for defending the crystal a lot of people, what they do is they will uh, teleport in new empires to the to the ring around the crystal in the scar, and just make it to where the invaders have farther to go. And I I, I like this. This is a good strategy. Uh, I think uh, I'm guessing. I've never personally done it, but I think you use like a random email generator. I think like Yacht Mail is one. Uh, uh, you know, I could be wrong. I, I don't really know. Look it up. Look into it. Uh, you know, I think it would be a lot of work to make 100 Gmail accounts to do it. But uh, there's got to be a better way, right? So, so maybe if you want to do it, think about it for a while. Or if, if you have a good way to do it, post in the comments. That would be real helpful. Um, but this is good because um, time. Time is on your side if you're defending. So anything you can do to slow down the enemies and uh, what I recommend first thing you do is make sure all the holes around your your empire and your hive are covered up and plugged because um, you know if they can teleport right to the middle of your hive they could zero pretty darn quick so what you want to do is use an occupy or teleport in a, a farm empire and if you're uh, I also recommend just go ahead and occupy them with like one troop, right, so they don't get a ton of kills for it. Uh, and send out all your marches if you're, you know, just going to uh, play a defensive, or at least uh, maybe just uh, keep one march in case you need it. But uh, occupy all around your hive, guys, so, so they have to travel that extra three or four tiles. Uh, or And sometimes they'll even try to burn the tile, that, and then... 
they have to wait for their troop to get back to teleport to a new spot. So uh, they have they have to wait for all their marches to be in their empire before they can teleport. So you can often reoccupy that spot before they can teleport to it. So uh, if you have somebody online, you know you can you can just really really slow down the invaders because, like I said, guys, one hour per teleport time is on your side. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's a big thing. And for the crystal, it helps extra much because troops are so slow in moving through the scar that if you can make them even one empire further, that's minutes. That's minutes per march, and that. Yeah, I like it. I like it, dudes. I like it a lot. Um, uh, another thing, guys, it's not terrible to just let them take the crystal if they do take it, right? So, like, maybe have um, uh, you know everybody strong in your realm or in your guild that isn't going to port, have them uh, occupy the crystal, you know, reinforce the crystal. Ideally, you only have the highest tier troop. Um, so like tier 4, tier 5 hopefully, if it's a newer realm like mine, you might have T3 and uh, as we saw in that early video, T3 can actually hurt hurt it so if you have enough mech uh, or mercenary units and the highest tier uh, of anybody in your realm it, it's not terrible just to not fill up the crystal all the way and just, you know, have uh, <laughs> have some empty capacity because that T3 actually hurts you at some point or T2 or whatever depending on your realm uh, so yeah if they do take the crystal guys it doesn't give that many points uh, just being honest here I think I got it's it's 400 a second which sounds like a lot until you actually run the numbers and I got like 40 million uh, power destroy uh, 40 million points from my first RV airport and that was just from teleporting in uh, as we can see here in the video uh, that's playing just teleporting in and hitting hives I got like 40 million or something like that and uh, my next RV airport I captured the crystal and I think I only got 20 million in the 18 hours that I held the crystal for or maybe it was 15 something in there 14 I don't know but uh, like I was saying, so you get 400 a, uh, a, a second, which is, uh, uh, what's that, 24,000 a uh, minute. So that's not even a, a million, all right, 24,000 a minute. 24,000 times 60, uh, I don't even know, I'm not good at math off the top of my head, but but it's, it's certainly less than, you know, 2 million uh, an hour, right? Quite a bit less than 2 million an hour. So I, maybe you'd want to do it with your last teleport, um, you know, just just because. But another thing to keep in mind, guys, and I briefly mentioned this in my last video: if you do occupy the crystal, you can't teleport. Like you're you're kind of stuck, right? Like you get random teleported back to your realm, and you can't move, and your marches have to walk all the way back. So so there's two things you could do. One, you could uh, pull your marches from the crystal like the last minute of your RVR port and then they'll teleport with you and uh, then you can go back if you want you don't get much points but you get the uh, I guess the pride factor of having taken the crystal and the other cool thing about taking the crystal is you do get the uh, the titles and they're like special titles for um, uh, the uh, invaders in RVR so so it's like kind of cool uh, titles you can Hook people up. Hook the people. You can only give titles to people in the realm that you control the crystal in. So uh, if people teleport in, you can from your realm you can hook them up with a buff, or you can you know throw buffs on all the strong enemy players. Uh, so that's maybe the best thing to it outside of the small amount of points you get. And most of the points that I got from holding it was actually from people attacking it trying to reclaim it so this is what one thing I was saying um, if they do capture the crystal it's not a bad idea just to let them keep it unless you think you can get it back uh, with a rally but maybe maybe you do it one rally and if it's close um, you know gotta think about it but but that's points for them right like they're killing power from your attacks on the crystal and they're keeping it uh, that's good for them
And also, as long as their troops are in there, they're not going to be teleporting back to your realm to kill people, right? So that, it, it's almost like bad in a way to have your troops in the crystal. My 50 cents. Uh, so that, um, that's mostly the defense, guys. Uh, bubble if you can. Make sure everybody bubbles. Make sure everybody knows what's going on. Make sure nobody attacks the, uh, the uh, invaders. Because I see it every RVR, I see some guy just sending march after march, hitting the invaders, and it's like, oh, three points, right? Like, oh, they just got 10 million more points for that. <laughs> um, for attacking guys, what our realm does is we uh, we have a, a realm full realm chat available to really anybody that wants uh, to participate in the RVR. And uh, what we do is we have scouters, so people who are just playing defense, can go and you can look at the other realm and it's kind of like a, this dark kind of uh, there's like a, a haze you can't quite see everything very clearly but you can see you can you can get a sense and you can still click on people uh, to see their power and see if it's a good spot to teleport to but we have these spotters and they will go through and scan all across the realms look for the best spot to uh, to get as many points as you can per teleport so look for the big hives they're not always right by the crystal, but sometimes they are. So it's a good starting point uh, to look there. And uh, yes, I like to look for a cluster of, uh, f for me with T4, I usually look for level 15 to level 25, maybe 29 players, depending. And then I check the power, right? So it's so ideally like 1.2 mil to. Um, um, well, anywhere to 10 mil is like great for T4 for me where I'm at. Uh, maybe you know, met a little more or less for you guys, but you just want that cluster. You want to be able to attack as many people as you can as quickly as you can. So if you see a hole in the middle of a hive, that's that's ideal. If you can get to the edge of a hive, uh, you know, look around, try to get to the edge with the uh, uh, the most people you can get power from. Do you want to be as close to the, the easy kills as possible? And uh, that's what I look for. I go through, and uh, typically what I do is I attack with cavalry. Because cavalry is quicker than the other troop types. So, and time is of the essence if you're attacking. Time's not on your side uh, if you are in the other realm. So, so, I use cavalry mostly. Sometimes I'll use something else if, uh, if they're right next to me or... If they have a lot of warriors, then maybe you don't want to send a cavalry march. So, so I'll check it out. Uh, send my hero when possible. Uh, now, I, I've been sending warriors with my heroes in this RVR because I have the uh, Yojimbo warrior buff, which is awesome. I, I like Yojimbo. He's sweet. And that 60% armor... Uh, Warrior armor, warrior HP, and warrior attack, it adds up. Especially if you're sending in, do you have samurai warriors? And I did some tests here, guys. Um, uh, I'm not sure if it's already been shown or not, but samurai warriors die after level 4 warriors. So if you have, you can protect all your samurai warriors if you're sending them with uh, tier 3 or tier 4, which is really nice. Like, uh, you know, you don't want to lose your mercs, and when you can protect your mercs, that's the way to do it. So I, I anytime I attack Samurai Warriors, I sent Tier 4 Warriors, because all the Tier 4 Warriors will die before a single Samurai does. And uh, that's awesome. I like that. Um, yeah, oh, uh, uh, an interesting thing about the, the Samurai Mercenary Troops guys is you need royal speed ups for them. So um, for 25,000 I think it's 17 days of training time. Uh, I think that's what it was. I might be a little off. But you need royal speed ups. And I don't even think you can buy them unless your citadel's at like 30 or, th or maybe it's 31. Uh, they start, you start getting royal speed ups in your packs I think at 30 or 31 also. Excuse me. So and that's kind of interesting. Uh, you might have to wait a while to use your warriors if you're not there yet. Um, 
I'm not sure exactly what um, mercenary level you can get them at. I know in my other account I have uh, tier three or building level three uh, fighting pits, and I could build them on that account. So maybe it's less than three, but three is like at, uh, at least if you have a level three, you can build them for sure. Uh, so what else do I look for in attacking? Oh, um, I kind of mentioned this in my last video, but before you teleport into the other realm, uh, make sure all your marches are at your empire. Because if you teleport without them, they got to march all the way to the other realm, or you got to go back for them. Which, uh, that blows, right? That blows, big time. Um, but I usually go ahead and use a boost if I have one. Uh, usually an attacking boost for the RVRs because the idea is to do as much damage as quickly as possible and not necessarily to save as many troops as you can so I go with the attack buffs uh, make sure your hero is geared properly go ahead and give them all the attack gear and I'd go if you have the option between uh, an equivalent kind of Arbiter or Sentinel for RVRs I just go ahead and throw on the, uh, the Arbiter because again damage you want as much damage per hit it's okay if you lose a few extra troops because it's it's just an hour, right? Like, yeah, it's just an hour. So, how many are you gonna lose in an hour? Maybe a lot, right? Maybe. <laughs> I lost a lot. <laughs> uh, one thing you can do too, guys, and you see me doing it here, is um, uh, having a meat shield for my troops. So I'll send in some tier three with my my cavalry, and the tier threes uh, they move quicker than the tier fours. So even if you're sending like mages or warriors with your tier 4 cavalry, uh, your tier 4 cavalry is slower than the uh, tier 3 uh, of all troop types, except for maybe siege. So something to keep in mind um, if you want to protect your tier 4 troops. Protect your good troops, sacrifice the cheap little dinky ones. That's what I do. Um... Yeah, and a lot of people, they do like attacking teams. So they'll teleport in with a few people and hit a hive. Now, personally, I don't do that because you lose a lot of time rallying your troops. Uh, it's it's worth doing it at some point if you've like zeroed everybody you can find, but you, there's a hive with a bunch of bigger guys, then it's a case to do it. Uh, but typically, that's not what I do. I, I usually ride solo. Just go in. Uh, it's quickest. You don't have to use the five minutes to fill up a rally, you know, and wait for the rally to go. You can just, just get to work, get out of there once everybody's done. Not, not quite, you know, it, it takes time to coordinate all this, too. Uh, but but it, that's an option. You can do that, and it, it is fun going in and uh, rallying up with people. And that's what this is all about, right? It's about fun. It's not so much about the points. Uh, the points will help you win, but... Really, the only thing your realm gets if you win is you get uh, gold caches, and you don't even get that much gold from them, right? So if you're purging your whole realm to win, uh, they're not, the little guys aren't going to get enough gold to make up for what they lost. So something to think about. Uh, you know, it's not all about points, I guess. It's more about fun, but but I do like the points too. <laughs> so so yeah, that's that, guys. Um, um, what else? You know, again, I don't recommend taking the crystal. Uh, I did it because it's fun, but that's really the only reason. I didn't do it for any any uh, point reason. Uh, yes, if you have any questions, guys, uh, if I missed anything or, or whatever, let me know. Um, thanks for all the support, dudes. Uh, it's nice seeing all the comments, and we got a little community going here. I love it. I love it, guys. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it doing. Uh, keep it going. Uh, oh, uh, I want to recommend uh, another YouTuber, uh, Lumi, Lumi the Impaler. His videos are awesome. Uh, definitely recommend it. I'll post a link for him. Uh, uh, and if you guys know some other people, you know, maybe leave a comment on it. Say, hey, check out this guy, because uh, I don't spend too much time looking at other people's videos just because I work long weeks and. Yeah, I, I could barely have time to make my own videos. So sorry if I uh, don't get back to you on the comments, too, because I really don't have too much time to check it. But, um, yeah, so so let's uh, everybody come together here. Help, help everybody out. Uh, 
there's some other good YouTubers. Let us know. Uh, the one that I'm aware of is Luma the Impaler. Uh, Impaler might be saying that wrong, but uh, yeah, I'll leave a uh, uh, a link for his his account. And that's pretty much that, guys. Peace out.